Hello, this is Hoffman Trifle Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce you to a new add-on. Well, it's not new, but it's, it's new to me. I guess new to everyone who's listening is the Power Save add-on. And it's a really simple add-on, but it does. it's interesting. It does a whole lot of things in terms of saving. Now, uh, it's free to use, but once again, there's an option to you know, send some money to the developer's way. So you can just type in whatever amount you'd want to give and click on I want this and then you'll be able to, to obtain the add-on and use it. And then once you've uh, downloaded onto your uh, system, I have to say thanks to BornJono7 for creating this add-on because it's, it's like I said before, it's a simple add-on but it's, it's uh, pretty interesting. And you might not think you need this add-on but let me just show you the features on it so it may change your mind. Now once you've installed it, I'm using Blender 2.8, so I'm thinking it can be used for any version of Blender. Uh, but once you've installed it, just the same process, go to Edit, and Preferences, and I've already installed it. You go to Install, navigate to where you've uh, downloaded onto your system, click on that, uh, the zip file, and press Install Add-on, and then it's on your system inside of Blender. And I've ha I have this uh, window open, so I want to show you guys some options here that are you know quite helpful to use. Now, Blender has its own you know it it will notify you if you close out Blender, and then it'll say if you haven't saved it, it'll say do you want to save the file? You can click yes and OK. But the reason why this option is important is because it gives you a visual vis a visual representation of uh, the saving process by having this little icon here at the top. Now, uh, it's yellow right now because I haven't saved this. Is a, this is a new file. And so, because it isn't saved, it's yellow. Uh, when you open up the uh, install panel for the power save has been installed, you'll see that there are a lot of options here. Now, you can uh, choose where you want to install or save your files by clicking on this icon by default it'll save it saves it on the uh, C drive of your computer and the uh, documents tab it creates a power save folder you can change that by just clicking on this uh, icon and switching the uh, destination of your saved files there's also an option for auto save just put check in this box and auto saves it and it does that every two minutes, which is also helpful because with Blender, if you've used Blender for a long time, you'll know that Blender, it crashes, especially if you're doing a lot of uh, heavy, you know, uh, rendering things like that or heavy, if you have a, have a lot, if you have a lot of heavy files that you're working with, it'll crash. So having an autosave feature is very helpful because it'll, it'll save it every two minutes without it actually, or you actually losing any work. Uh, there's an overwrite option, auto save with overwrite. You can choose that also. I uh, can choose the folder destination and the auto save name also. And the some interesting things about this also down here is it gives you a date and time format that you can uh, apply a stamp to the file or the file, the blend file, so you can know the day and time that you saved the file. And you can change the icon presets to a traffic lights. The default is just that uh, red like power cube or yellow power cube but you can change it to a traffic light or a high contrast version of the power cube and the dimensions of the uh, icon can change it also now let's get into the uh, actions for power save now it's, it's gray that means I haven't saved it also I haven't saved anything on it now let's say I delete this cube let me delete this and I press uh, shift A mesh and I choose let's say let's say Suzanne it still is gray which means it hasn't been saved and when you click down to the drop down menu you can choose a lot of the things that are on this side are also in this drop down menu and these icons here are other add-ons that uh, the developer has created but you'd have to install those uh, in order to have those active. 
right now we're on the power save option which is what we've installed on blender 2.81 you can automatically save it by clicking there uh, you can open up the project from here also and once again you have the auto save options here for every two minutes have it auto save and have it uh, automatically overwrite your pre-existing files um, there's purge options toggle auto pack now with auto pack uh, sometimes in blender if you want to uh, save a file you want to save everything in it the option is there to auto pack everything in that file uh, that contains that project that way if you open it up on another computer you will have the textures or whatever else you have for the project available when it's been auto packed all into one file so you have that option to automatically do that by checking this box I can also save temporary files uh, the save time also and then save versions of it one or two versions you can increase the uh, number of versions for that particular file which is also helpful and once again all those options some of those options are on this side too and if you're not sure where it has been auto saved up here at the top of the uh, user interface you'll see it gives you exactly where this file will be saved which is in my C drive I don't think anybody could hack this but it's uh, right here at the top I might have to uh, <laughs> uh, censor this I don't want anybody hacking into uh, my computer by having this web address up here this uh, file address here but the option to know where it's being saved is at the top here once again it's gray but let's let's auto save this let's click on power save and now I can see this icon turns green so when you're working with this uh, you have the options up here on the side you have the visualization of it being saved or not saved by this icon right here so it's a, it's a uh, very simple but very effective and helpful add-on and once again it helps especially with blender if you're working with like heavy duty blender files that can crash unexpectedly this autosave program uh, add-on actually will help you quite a bit and that's today's blender quick tip and once again, thank you guys who have watched this. Now, I hope this has helped those of you who have been watching. And I'll link, leave a link of the uh, add-on to download in the description below this video. And once again, thank you guys who have subscribed to the channel in the past. Those of you who are subscribing now and those of you who will subscribe in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.